Welcome back everyone, I am the Depressed Eeyore and this is Labyrinth of Toho 2. Alright, we've gotten all the five stones, so let's go ahead and go pay a visit to the Magic Library. Actually, here's the Philosopher Stones you asked us to get. We've got all five of them here too, take them. My, you really do have all of them. Thank you, you've been a great help. I'm glad I asked you to do it. Phew, that was tiring. We'll be heading back to the inn for a rest then. Raymo, stop. Hold it. Actually, from what we can tell uh, from fighting these stones, you've been strengthening them quite a bit. Yes, it was no easy feat either. What about it? These stones have had their magic strengthened to a large degree, and even having uh, an uh, automaty imprinted on them. On all five of them, in fact. It must have cost a lot to do that, hmm? Um, Marissa, what do you mean? Actually, where did you get all that, uh, the money for the, that from? When we first spoke about you helping to strengthen us, uh, strengthen us, you told us that it requires lots of items and medicine, so you've been charging us for the materials, right? My, my, are you saying I shouldn't be compensated for my time and effort? Don't try and deceive us. Sure, you should be compensated for the time and effort you put in, but there's no way that time and effort is equivalent to how much these stones have been powered up. And besides, I've known you for ages. I know you already have your pockets restrained by your books and magic. There's no way you'd squirrel away all your scavings on this kind of frivolous expense. Er, so, Patchelay has been ripping us off? Meet you. If, uh, if you thought you could, uh, could deceive a magician like like me with your scammer pr prices, that's your fault for underestimating me. Oh dear, your honor. What should uh, her punishment be? How about getting her to explore the great tree with us? I hereby sentence you to etc 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 effective immediately. Miss Raymu, tie her up. Yeah, no, I hate walking. And you think we like wandering around for no reason either? Almost done. Just here and here remaining. All right, culprit app apprehended, and that settles that. Thank you. And now we have Pacholi. But we still have to pay for a uh, love lops. That hasn't changed. Anyway, we'll go ahead and pull out. Uh, Patchouli. I've used her before, so I'm not going to be using her in this uh, playthrough. Um, also, I, well, actually, I will be using her off-screen because she needs. She's one of the characters that needs battle points, but I'm not going to worry about that until later. Anyway, her stats are well, as to be expected. She has extremely high magic in mind. Everything else sucks. She has low attack, low defense, low speed, low evasion, and low health. Not only that, she is completely vulnerable to all the standard status effects except for silence and death and debuffing. Huh, she's actually immune to debuffing. I did not know that. Um, she does have high affinities, or at least elemental affinities. Um, but beyond that, she's not very tanky. Um, she's um, In Labyrinth of Toho 1, she was practically the mind tank. She had like the highest mind growth in the game. Um, it, she was also a character you started out with. Um, the bad part is, is all of her spells are really powerful, but are extremely slow, and she has a very low speed. But, since you started out with her, she was kind of your go-to nuker, and it got uh, players in uh, Live of the Toho 1 to get used to swapping people in and out to get their turns to come up along faster. I haven't been able, I haven't required to do that in this game as much. I kind of have, this game seems to revolve a lot more around having aces on your team, and then just having them just hang out. It's either that or my characters are just simply that fast, and it's not really worth swapping in and out, usually. Anyway, let's go ahead and go over this, over her spells. They're exactly the same as the previous game, though I think their delays are a little bit different. Anyway, hit all people with fire, hit all people with cold, hit all people with wind, hit all people with nature, and then a single target mystic. And that's about it. As for her um, skills, uh, she has blah blah blah. Ah. If you have, uh, she has a bunch of things that allow her to like regain MP faster. Um, she's got a few things where she will actually be able to pierce through defenses uh, if she attacks someone that, um, if she attacks someone's strongest element. Like if she went up against like a fire enemy and uses a fire spell, she can have the ability to ignore a large portion of that affinity. Um, also, she has the ability to where if she casts uh, an elemental spell, she becomes strong against that element, uh, stronger against that element for a turn, uh, for that turn. Um, so she's got some. It's all pretty much elemental stuff. She also has um, some synergy bonuses with any other members of the Scarlet Double Mansion, which currently is nobody because we don't have anyone else. But we'll probably have Mei Ling soon. So that's pretty much Patchouli, very similar to what she was before. Um, doo -doo -doo. 
Oh yeah, that was the right place. Getting all mixed up here. Alright, we'll move you. Alright, um, there's also a character we missed on floor 6, and she's not going to be available until we've killed more um, FOEs, which I'm not going to worry about hunting FOEs at the moment. Um, other things to note. Let's do a little bit of shopping. Um, can't create anything there. I'm just seeing if I can make something that gives... Um, Oh, are you serious? This is like the one thing I want to craft. I need to make more Kazo defenses, and I can't. Because what I want to do is get... Um... Well, for one thing, I need to switch this back to whatever she was using before. Oh, Uniform Exorcism. Yeah, sure, go ahead and use that. Um, we need to get, I want to get her debuff resistance up, but I don't have anything that really gives a lot of debuff resistance at all. Flip Skirt Dagger would get her up to 90 resistance, which is almost enough. If we can just get something that gives... Yeah, if we could just get a Rugged Seed, but I don't think I can get one. Uh, let me check the Beast area real quick. Not from you. For a rugged seed. Doesn't look like uh, there are, are any. Nope. Alright. So, can't worry about that. Anyway, um, what also I want to go ahead and do is we do have another stone. And I want to go ahead and give Momiji Guardian. So, there you go. She's now a Guardian, which will give her a flat boost in, uh, in defenses. It also will give her access to a, a few combat abilities. Nothing too special. Let's see. Yeah, Shield Bash and Shield Defense. Shield Defense is a self buff, but it debuffs speed. But I believe since she's immune to debuffing, it probably won't do anything to her. So it, it's just a flat buff, which is kind of nice. Um, things I kind of want to go for then is things like um, Frontline Guard and like Absolute Defensive Line. Baby initiative, but I'll worry about that later. Um, let's see, you've maxed out defense. I've been working on HP boost. Okay, standard stuff. Anything else to use? I do have another training manual. I also have a bunch of magic gems. So, you know what? Um, here you go, Hina. You're now capped out. Uh, besides that, not sure who else I'm gonna. Part of me wants to go ahead and find defense, energy, get a protection gem on you. I'll put the training manual on Kassen as always. So that takes care of all that. Let's uh, save real quick. As always, 10 minutes of logistics. Alright. Now, I did do a little bit of looking. Um, yes, the person I'm looking for is on Floor 7. There's also another character we'll be picking up on Floor 7 as well. Alright, what's that event down there? Oh, that was the uh, stone. Okay. I haven't leveled up any. Um, I will level people up after I get uh, the character I'm looking for. And then we'll probably be over leveled again. 
But I'll probably just take advantage of the E-leveling at, at that point. Also, I haven't been spending any of my money on um, stat ups yet. Alright, strong rocket horns, not a big deal. done here. Guess we can go left and see where that takes us. Gosa is really doing well on this floor. Definitely have no complaints on our performance. Oh? Hmm, what was that? What's up, Pina? Uh, Marissa, there was someone hiding in that gap between the trees just now. There ain't anyone there. Besides, that gap's too small for anyone to fit inside. You sure you weren't seeing things? Hmm, was I? That's strange. And that just popped up another event to the south there. So, hmm, I guess we're gonna have to go find those events. For now though, I'm gonna go ahead and go this way. away on the map, but it's really not that much of a distance. It's like a random encounter at least. that. I think we're just about done with most of these areas. I 
I see you, event. Get over here. Card ruler of heavens, okay. Quite a bit, unfortunately. I hit practically every dead end. Awesome. Alright, well, let's go get that item real quick. That way I don't have to backtrack here a second time. Luster candy. Also, I have a mana flower. Why am I not using it? Nazard's out of juice. I might as well swap her out. Hey, Satori, you can help out. Hmm, Rayman, look at that thick ivy. Looks familiar. Ah, this is an ivy. Uh, blah, 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 same thing. Yo, me, you're up. Yes, yes. Okay, yeah, same dialogue. So we found the second route. There's the event over there.
stream. We already have. Not much damage. Ah. That was an interesting little buff. Finally. Ah! Hmm? Who's Ack? We finally found you. Goodness, we've been looking everywhere for you. Yeah, Eren and Ryson. Dear me, looks like you've been found. Dear me, really? Is that all you have to say? Honestly, you could have let us know that you found the princess. We haven't met you since Kage joined us, you know. She didn't come along easily either. By the way, where's the immortal human? Ah, Moko? Ah, uh, things happened and she ended up going further up the great tree. Ah, uh, ha. Huh. But at least we found the, that prince, uh, found that princess, and that's what matters most. Aaron, I'm saying this before you can protest. Or say, I'm saying this before you can protest. I'm not going back to Entei yet. I already know you'd say that. Even if I dragged you back down, you would just keep running back into here until you've had your fill of fun. So, Reimu, will you allow me to join, uh, join so I can keep an eye on the princess? Eh? Is that how it goes? Hi, is there a problem? Nope, not at all. Just didn't expect you to be so understanding. How many years do you think I've served under the princess? Yeah, makes sense. Uh, that immortal human ran off upwards, right? I'll keep searching for her, master. Do take care of the princess. Don't worry about that. Take care of yourself, too. I will. See you again. Hmm, I feel bad for that rabbit. That should have been my duty. No point worrying about it now. Anyway, Reimu, good, uh, good to be working with you. Yeah, same here. Yuren Yakakuro joined the party. So the decision you made previously of who won the race uh, decides who you get here as well. If you hit Kaguya, you get Kaguya on uh, floor 5 and you get, or sorry, floor 6 maybe, I don't remember which floor it was. Um, and then you get Eren on this floor. If you had picked Moko, you would have gotten Moko and then you would have gotten Ryzen on this floor. And you would have gotten the other two on the later floors. Um, so yeah, that's the reason why I picked Kaguya, well, that and I wanted Kaguya to win anyway, um, was to get Eren. Uh, Eren is a character I've never used, um, and I'll go ahead and show her off in a bit once I've finished exploring here. She's going to be our healer. And she's not going to be that bad of a healer, because uh, her mechanics are a little bit more fleshed out in this game than it was in the previous game. As for who's going to be our 12th character, um, prob we're probably not going to get a 12th character in a while. I might go ahead and get Moko when it, the time comes, and just have her take that slot for the time being, but... I mean, we already have a Firecaster, so having Moko would be kind of redundant. The Moko is a little bit more tanky. Slack off, slack off. Alright. Uh, that kind of worked, I guess. And Coco says out of juice. And we're pretty much in the middle, away from everything, so let's go ahead and head back real quick. Wow, achievements everywhere. Training manual, magic gem, and other things. Uh, 
have uh, more than 20 copies of an item. A centric collector. Even if you don't aim for it, they tend to build up while you play. Uh, veteran treasure hunter. Open 100 treasure chests, get a pride. A sharp sense of smell with a compulsion to unlock a model hunter. Favorite team, get four more characters with a thousand battle points, magic gem. Hands on experience is effective for your favorite characters who are always on the front lines, though it's a bit late for that. Okay. So, did we actually get another pride? No, we didn't. It was just something I forgot to read about. Probably forgot to read about it. I apologize. Alright, so Human Village. Change members. Here we are. Erin. Go ahead and level up everybody. Yeah, that's not too many levels. That's okay. Alright. I think I'll make uh, Hina go offense. See how that works. Alright, uh, for Yeren, we don't need to worry about increasing our magic at all because her healing is uh, percentage based. Um, she's very tanky as a healer, so I think I will stick with making her tanky as possible. Maybe make her sort of a frontline tank. A frontline healer. We'll see how that goes. Kind of make her like King. Oh! Satori, I haven't even used your level up bonuses. I'm so sorry. Here you go. To be honest, actually, for her, attack might be better. because I have more attackers. Oh, I didn't even level up her stuff. No wonder she couldn't do any damage. I completely forgot to give them level up bonuses. Oh, I'm so awful at this game. I wonder... I was like, man, Atsuo's really doing no damage. Like, I know she's supposed to be like one of those characters that hangs out and bulks up the longer she stays out, but man, she wasn't doing anything. Alright, so now Atsuo should be a lot better now. Alright, so that's taken care of. Um, training manual. Uh, here you go, Kausen. I don't care. Uh, magic gem. Hina's maxed out. I think I'll be going for Percy next, maybe? But we'll, we'll wait on that. Let's go ahead and do some skill up stuff, because we haven't done any of that for a while. Uh, I'll be focusing on getting her, her um, guardian abilities up and running. Um, Kausen. We'll go ahead and max out your speed. There we go. Nothing... Oh, finally, you can get um, Sheer Force, which will increase your chances to uh, pierce through affinities. And, and ailment resistance as well. So, really good for her. Nothing for her. Um, Keen could get herself another rank in our, her defensive buff. Um, let's go ahead and get Riggle another rank in that. Hina. Oh, you can finally get some uh, a rank in enhanced hexes. So that'll increase the effects of her hexes by 10%. Awesome. Um, Atsuo, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with you. Oh, that's right. I'm working towards overheating. Uh, as for you... Uh, if enemy is hit by a weakness... Okay, I'll be working on Trauma Recollection. Yeah, that's why I was working on. Okay. And now, Eren. So, Eren's pretty similar to what she was in the previous game, but her uh, mechanics are a lot better, uh, to say the least. Um, she's got... two AoE attacks, I believe. No, sorry, she has three AoE attacks. Um... One's a cold base that lowers attack, 
one that lowers magic, it's mystic based, and then she has one that's dark and can inflict heavy. But for, you just, I don't know if it, her attacks have gotten any better in um, the previous game, it wasn't too fantastic even if you tried focusing on her uh, attack stats. But her main gimmick was her uh, her Hori Elixir, which is a spell that restores 50% HP and cures all ailments and debuffs. I'm not sure what leveling the, uh, this up even does, because as far as I know, it probably doesn't do anything, unless it, unless it increases the percentage. And the thing about uh, Eren, um little spell in the previous game was it allowed you, this spell can actually get you above max health. The problem was the mechanics didn't really support that. Um, and if you swapped out, your HP would immediately go back to max. And if you got hit, no matter how much damage it was, it will automatically set your HP down to max. So its benefit was very, very limited. But in this game, if you get, where is it, healing touch, it will make, th it'll, it'll give you the mechanic again. But this time it actually works. It will stay, even if you take damage. Unless, of course, you take enough damage where it goes, you know, it, it takes away all the extra healing, or it, and if you um, if you swap out with the extra HP, you don't lose it. So it's actually benef it's very beneficial, and it's very useful on tanks and stuff. So the way it works in this game is, if you heal somebody that's not at max HP, any extra healing, uh, it gets added to their max HP. So essentially, you can get someone to about like 149% health, which is kind of nice. So that's one of our gimmicks. I'll go ahead and get that. Uh, do, do, do. She has some stuff that increases her um, uh, MP gain. She can give herself uh, poison effects on all of her attacks. Um, she can increase her speed on the back line, or she so it effectively increases her um, her recovery rate. Um, she can synergize with the other members of Entei, and she has the ability to consume 8 MP per turn to increase your, uh, to allow her attacks to have 50% uh, piercing. Not too bad. Um, do, do, do. MP covered by the action will be increased by blah 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 blah. How much MP do you have? Aaron has a lot of MP, so I'm not even sure what I'll be doing with her. I could give her just thousands of years of exile and just use that. It's hard to say. I might have to think about what to give her, uh, put her points in. I might have to use a book and kind of unlock some things. But I'll wait. I'll I'll hold that off for a bit. Anyway, we are average level 30 now. Um, so yay us, I guess. So let's um, save the game real quick. And I'm actually out of time, so this is perfect. I'll look up stuff I'll do for Erin, and get her stats up a little bit, and then we'll continue on. So I'm The Depressed Duo, and this was Labyrinth of Toho 2. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys later.